Hello folks, welcome back to a very warm studio to look at our five favourite summer motorcycle gloves for 2022. You know the deal by now, these all pass CE approval, they have different features and price points which I will explain. Let us know if you feel like we've missed any in the comment section down below, but without any further ado, let's get started. First up, we have the ever popular Gold Top Bobber. If you're looking for anything leather, in fact, Gold Top is a great company to check out. They're available for a very respectable 55 pounds. I've definitely spoken about the Gold Top Bobber previously, but this is a perforated leather glove with a short cuff. They have other options available. If you don't like the look of this for any particular reason, check out the rest of Gold Top's lineup. They've also got female options, so if you want to go for the Predator or the Raptor, they have ladies' gloves that will work very similar to this. The Bobber is available in a variety of different color options. We have two new ones from them in the green that you can see here, or the Oxblood version, all using that same premium 1.2 millimeter thick aniline dyed cowhide leather. It's very soft, very supple, very comfortable, and it will age well over time. As you can see from the back, this has perforations for your airflow. You've also got some protection on your palm, some soft protection there at the heel of your hand. No other armor of which to speak, so they are a very simple glove. You've got some ribbing on the back of your fingers there for increased flexibility. You, of course, have a Velcro fastener around your wrist. And on the inside, as with a lot of their gloves, you'll find a red fleece liner, which is very comfortable against your skin. Something else that I really appreciate from these is you can't feel any of the stitching against your fingers so that's not distracting. That fleece liner does make them slightly thicker and better insulated than some of the other gloves I show you, which does mean on those very rare 40 degree days like we've had this year in particular, they are gonna be slightly thicker than I would personally want, but for the rest of spring and summer, and even into autumn, it will extend their riding season a little bit further. Ultimately though, they still have perforations, they are still vented, and they are still breathable. Next up is a glove that's really impressed me recently. That's the Merlin Shenstone, available in either black or brown, and it comes in at a very respectable £49.99, making it the most affordable glove I'll show you today. Merlin have a mesh motorcycle jacket of the same name, using that Shenstone name, carrying it across to these. Has a lot of similar styling cues. So these are a mix of leather, and mesh, as you can see, from the back for your venting, for your airflow, and there's a lot of mesh on the back of your hand to allow even more airflow through. I've worn this glove a lot in the last few months, and I've found it very comfortable on those very uncomfortably hot days because of that mesh and the amount of airflow you get through. They're also a really comfortable fit, very comfortable at the bars, decent flexibility. You've got stretch panels across them, as you can see. You've got decent armor in these as well, provided by D3O, as you can see from the tag at my wrist. That is found at your knuckles. That is very comfortable, non-restrictive, but of course it stiffens and impact and adds that safety. You have sections sewn in at your thumb and index finger for the use of a touchscreen. And you will notice the stitching around your fingers is actually stitched on the outside of the glove so that you don't feel it against your hand. That makes them more comfortable again on the inside. If you're looking for affordability and breathability in a vintage package, the Merlin Shenstone is definitely a glove to check out. Next, we have another leather option from the company Fuel this time. This is the Fuel Triple Crown. It's available for 85 pounds. It comes in this very attractive tri colorway. So you've got black, brown, and tan around your wrist. Very similar in its style to the Fuel Rodeo, which we've also featured in the past. It's finished in cowhide leather. You have some suede sections across the back of your hand on your knuckles, as you can see, and on your palm for increased grip. You'll also notice some stitching on your fingers to make those more flexible. Obviously, being a summer glove, they are a short cuff. You've got an elasticated section around your wrist, and they are Velcro fastened. You also have reinforcement on the inside. You've got some knuckle armor, which is very discreet from the outside. It's a very lightweight, very flexible, very stylish leather glove. I will also drop links in the description for the Fuel Rodeo if you want to check those out in comparison.
Next up, we have an offering from Revit, a glove that I reviewed recently. This is the Revit Mangrove, and it is available for £59.99, lovely affordable price. It's available in either the sand colorway you can see here, or a black colorway if you want something a little bit less eye-catching. And I would probably put this in the same category as the Shenstone, for sheer breathability and comfort on the warmest of days. The difference, obviously, between them is that they look very different. If you want something that's a little bit more pared back, the Shenstone is a good one to look at. If you don't mind your gloves being a bit more eye-catching, then maybe you'll want to check out the Mangrove. There are a host of great features across this, most notably their TPR armor, as you can see on your knuckles and on your palm. You've got a decent amount of protection all the way across your fingers on these. Lots of perforations, you can see them at your palm, as well as this grippy section to make it easier to grab the bars. Something for the use of a touchscreen on your index finger. They are Velcro fastened and probably my absolute favourite feature is this big red loop around your wrist which makes it so much easier to get your gloves on and off. And it carries over for a few of their different designs. You'll find this on a lot of Revit's gloves and I really cannot overstate how much simpler it makes it getting them on and off. Likewise, you'll find a lot of the same features on another top contender from them for summer riding, and that's the Revit Sand, also available in a women's version. And I will, of course, drop links for all of those in the description as well. Last but not least, we have the Knox Orsa Leather Motorcycle Gloves, available for £129.98, making them the most expensive gloves I'll show you today, but they also have the most protection. So if you want the increased peace of mind, have a little look at these. As mentioned, these are a leather motorcycle glove. Now, if you want a textile variant, they actually have a different version of these, the Knox Orsa OR3, which are the same in terms of features, they're just made of a different material. Now, I'll explain all of these safety features on these in a few moments, but believe me, they don't lack for anything. Having said that, if you do find you want to upgrade still further, they actually have another level after these in the Knox Handroid, have a look at those if you want to. I'll drop links for them in the description as well. So these are constructed predominantly of goat skin leather, which is slightly more flexible, slightly tougher as well, but they are a very comfortable glove. You can see perforations on the underside there, so they are still breathable. If you do want to increase that breathability, maybe look at the fabric versions. If I show you the back of my hand, you can see how extensive this armor is. You have little sections of armor down your knuckles, on your fingers. You've also got this flexible armor at your knuckles. It's a floating armor as well. So if you clench your fist, you'll see it lifts at the back there, allowing for more room and flexibility. Again, you have something on your index finger for the use of a touch screen, and you'll see their extensive armor on your palm as well. The scaphoid protection on these is really beefy, really reinforced, and of course, that's where you're likely to touch down if you come off the bike. Because of its placement though, it won't get in the way at your bars, it doesn't interfere with feel, it's just nice to know that it is that reinforced. And then the final key feature is this BOA ratchet system closure around your wrist. If you click it in and then spin it round, it fastens and tightens around your wrist securely. It's very easy to unfasten, you just unclip it like so, and it makes it a lot easier getting on and off. And of course, a more secure fit. When it comes to functional, intelligently designed, reinforced and armoured motorcycle clothing, Knox really do know what they're talking about. Now then, if you want to know any more features about any of the gloves mentioned or check out the accurate and up-to-date size guide we have on the website, check for the links in the description. Let us know if you feel like we've missed any of your favourites in the comments section and we will see you soon for more of the world's finest riding gear. Bye-bye.